And Alex, how do these two teams who are coming off losses shake the feeling that they've already lost because they're here rather than resting? Well, the Cubs are home, so they should be in a very comfortable spot, no question about it, uh, in the confines of Wrigley Field and the, the great fans. For the Rockies, uh, a little bit of a different situation. Uh, baseball players have very short memory. Uh, they've played very well on the road with 44 wins, and they still have one of the best players in the world in the third baseman, Nolan Arenado. So it's just a matter of getting there. The good news is you play right away, get on that flight, and um, before you know it, you're teeing off again about uh, 8.05. I get that, but I also get that on Sunday, the Rockies were in Denver. On Monday, they're in Los Angeles. On Tuesday, they're in Chicago. I just, I wonder, how do you combat what that is? Just your human being. How do you deal with that? They've been playing very well, Scott. They're, they've won nine out of the last 11. Uh, they go in Chicago, and at the end of the day, they have nothing to lose. The Cubs, unlike on their 2016 run, uh, where they were David, in 2018 now they're Goliath, and they're supposed to win at home in front of their fans. Uh, the Rockies, they weren't supposed to be here. Bud Black has done an exceptional job. They're a much better team. They pitch, they defend, and like I said, they have Nolan Arenado. They just go in, they should have a lot of fun and see what happens. For the Cubs to be able to hand the ball to John Lester, whatever he's been this year, you're still giving a guy who's been here and delivered so often on these stages. What's the value of that for Chicago? Oh, my God, it's, it's paramount, Scott. And, and, and John Lester has been uh, world class. He was made for this game uh, tomorrow night. Here's a guy that's won three championships. He's also a workhorse. 11 years in a row with 30 starts or more. This year, no exception, with 32. But he's a guy that's a left-hander. He knows the big moment. And when you think about Theo Epstein and the move of bringing him here six years for $155 million, he's been worth $255 minimum to that franchise. Last quick thought. One of these teams is going to live to play another day. Does either feel more equipped to make a dangerous and lengthy run? I think that's the Cubs because of their experience, their pitching, and the acquisitions by the Cubs in the July. When you bring in a guy like Cole Hamels, who won the MVP in 2008 for the World Series, and then you have Daniel Murphy. Not often does a team make an acquisition in July that becomes your best player. The reason why he's your best player, your best hitter in October is because his ability to make contacts, really have mature bats, he can hit the ball out of the park, and he's a great complement. One, two, with Zobris, they're going to drive oppositions crazy is exactly what they needed. There's nothing quite like the tension of playoff baseball. We look forward to watching you all tomorrow night. Enjoy, Alex. Thank you. Thanks, Scott.